Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to more Tales of Hysteria. Last episode, we cleared the Earth Shrine and now we are standing outside the entrance of the Water Shrine. We're going to go through, just quickly dash across behind the waterfall. Nice hidden temple. And let's go clear this. Upgrade our power with Mikleo a little bit. This is it? It hasn't been eroded by the waterfall at all. If it wasn't recently made, then that means... It's using seraphic arts. This ruin must date from the Temperance of Avarost. Correct. This is Lefay, the Shrine of the Trial of Water. It has been some time since we were visited by a shepherd. I'm the Shepherd Saray. I'm the Prime Lord, Lila. You must be a servant of the Water Lord, Amanak. Indeed. I'm Alto, the protector seraph who serves on that. I'll get right to the point. What must we do to obtain the spiritual power? My sword! Where? Where is my sword? Back! Holy crap! Swords? There's something above. That is Azura. I've heard of him. A powerful Hellion sustained by rage and able to fight eternally without rest. Is the trial to quell Azura? No. To receive the spiritual power, you must find out the reason why Ashura became a Hellion to begin with. We can't just purify him? We have to know the reason? If you truly are the Shepherd, you should know why that is important. Right. Psychotherapy, my favorite. <laughs> it isn't called a trial for nothing. I wish you luck. The water trial. I guess it's my time to shine, huh? You'll be fine. It doesn't technically hurt. Technically? <laughs> okay, so how big is this place? This place... I'm not too sure. And again, the music is just so like nice. Eyes. That's because they are eyes. I didn't realize arts like this were still alive. Okay, we have to go invisible. The shrines have such awesome music, they really do. Ah, oh, pops, I need to be going about one at a time then. Fuck, just make that. Or not? Can I even, even make that? Do I just like stand at the edge and just walk? I'll try going on the right side. Yeah, it's only got two, so I assume we can extend the range at some point. Got a giant, like <laughs> aquafin. But we can win if we attack its other weak points. That definitely works. Is that your sword stuff? You know, even I'd. That looks weird. Love that piano. Swordsmith like myself truly will become the shepherd. Is this the diary of a shepherd? A swordsmith suddenly visited by a seraph. That's gotta be the dude we gotta find out why he became a Hellion, I bet. At least that way I wanna go this way. Mm -hmm. 
Jeez. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. All the way back here, I was not expecting that. Okay, so from now on, each room we go into, we have to kind of be careful. <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> okay, at least it's not that far back. Just know we got to take our time. So we should have to get that again. Before I even walk forward. What is this? Oh, warp. If that like activates down there, so we can walk back here, that would be good. So we'll look for the, the floor of an eye and make sure I don't train anything I shouldn't. So this should be the other side to where we couldn't get across before. Ooh. Okay, so we want to get that. I think the slower I walk, the more longer it lasts, maybe? Don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So this goes back to that room. What if I can make this run now? No, you can't make it. But we can walk through there, which is fine. So we've cleared both this floor now. Clear this floor entirely. So we want to go back here. And what I think we want to do is go through here. Take the right. Just got to be careful going through the next room. Oh, it's completely different, okay. 25th year of the common calendar. It has been three years since the Seraph named me the Shepherd. I have tried mightily to uh, be worthy of the role. But malevolence rises. I must do more. Okay. More of the Shepherd's diary? So, where are we? We can go up. I think we want to go cross. Looks like it. If we can. So now I can make two. There should be a vista point nearby. So I'm just gonna check. There you go. These traps aren't working. They're all busted. Serves them right, the creepy eyeball things. 
We can rest for a bit. It'd be a miracle if they had been working. These date all the way back to the Temperance of Everost. Here we go again. In English, that means... Um, so, the era known as the Temperance of Averost was when Seraphic civilization reached its peak. A great many buildings and artifacts from those times were crafted using the power of Seraphic arts. So, the era of wiggy magic everywhere, basically. We're talking ages and ages ago? Yeah, older than even Edna... <laughs> Saray. Yow! It's thought that the Temperance preceded the era of the gods, but not a great deal is known for certain. Many vital records were lost during the age known as the Dark Period. But these Shrines of Trials have preserved relics of things that could only have been made by Seraphim. <sighs> They're precious evidence that the Temperance of Averost really and truly happened. Even a bunch of weird-ass eyeballs can be a treasure if you've got the right mindset, huh? Yeah. You can't fathom the true meaning of legends until you've seen their history with your own eyes. So to speak. <laughs> you look just like Maven when you say that. Indeed. The face of a hopeless romantic. A charitable way to say naive simpleton. <laughs> so now I believe we've done this floor. Yes. I just need to get out of here. I should go a little bit closer. Whew. Yeah. Wait, no, we came out. I think we went for the middle door last time. I want to go up. Yeah, I got that one. The same every time. Go through here. Don't know how that dude not did not uh get me then. It's no good every day of everyone's approaches. Why is a shepherd's diary in a place like this? Can't be a coincidence. We're going up. I can warp here now, that's good. I'm pretty close to growing level, so I might have to do that because I have to fight. Oh, you come to me, so it's fine. They say it's the first hundred years that matter. Huh? It's a proverb. Could that relate to the number of legs they have? Its name says it all. Hundred feet. Isn't it wonderful? Can't you feel it? You know. Got a chest there. Let's grab that. He's after Shepherd. power, so I'm assuming. He's veered into a dangerous head. is corrupting for power. He wanted to be stronger. What did you expect? I don't know. It's what I'm getting so far. Scylla is dangerous no matter how close you are to it. So then what do we do? Why don't you go figure it out? Come on. Not yet! Open 
these guys are actually pretty strong. I mean, it is a dangerous encounter, but still. Every time the uh, <laughs> Mickey says, "You know nothing," I think of Game of Thrones. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> Get the chest. Yeah, I got that one. Okay. Um. So we want to go this way, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's mean. That is so mean. Wow. <laughs> that. They changed. They got rid of the floor patterns and then. That being there was super mean. Should have the fourth floor. That's so bad. Actually, where am I going? Can I go down? No, I can't. Oh, no, no, did you encounter? You know what? I'm done. Don't want to uh, fight you guys. It's gonna be a long time to run away. Come on, just halfway. They're a lot faster to fight these guys, and I don't want to fight them. If it take like five minutes, I totally would. This time doesn't count. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, no, it's the next one, isn't it? So we can go down one. And get to the third one. But yeah, the third one should be fine. There's a... No, it's not worth it. Okay. As a bronze chest, I don't think... I need that. I want to do is go here. So to get that bronze chest, I would have to two step from two up from where I'm looking now, one right. Yeah, I could probably get that, but I don't want to risk it right now. I just want to get out of here. I always get a warp panel. I doubt it just in case. Oh, 
I'm invisible, go away. Left and right, up and down, throwing us every which way. Whoever built this shrine's a real piece of work. Yep. Such meticulous design. He or she must have labored very diligently. Correction. You're a real piece of work. <laughs> uh. It's complete at last. The sword that has been my dream for nigh of 20 years. With this blade, I will cut them down. The Hellions, the Malevolence, all the chaos. Could the owner of this diary be... Azura? Okay, there's Band of B switches in here. Probably the next one, right? Where are we? Right now, I'm not too sure where we want to be. Ah, okay. I do it. Oh, that is lucky. I almost just walked forward then. But there is actually little eyes looking straight in front of that door. Do you think Maltran came here as well? Even if she did, it wouldn't do her any good. Only the shepherd. I'll quickly save it. Man, that water puzzle temple was awful. What is with RPGs and water temples just being That's awful? What it takes to get anywhere in a place like this. A shepherd. Or his antithesis. Hey, you think Azura is really a Hellion? Yes. I can feel its malevolence and domain. Why? Do you think it's a fake or something? Well, I mean, isn't it kind of strange? Why would they let a dangerous Hellion like that roam around freely? Why would a protector seraph just leave it be? Yeah, they're supposed to be powerful, high-ranked seraphim, right? It probably has to do with the trial. Protector seraphim are given special tasks. Sounds like a pretty convenient excuse. Yeah, I can't say that it isn't. You don't have to put it that way. You should know too. Seraphim aren't exactly models of virtue. They're not exactly heroes of justice either. Well, that's... Soul! You two sure sound so convincing when you team up. As long as you got the gist. Yep. If that's the trial, I'm up for it. Sounds pretty good. Let's go. He looks scary. Became a Hellion. Give it back. Give me my sword back. No candy. You, you stole my sword, didn't you? Azura is a Hellion of anger. The cause of this anger ought to be what made him a Hellion. You mean because his sword was stolen? No. There's more to it. It's time. How much damage do we can to him quite early on? Oh, 
Traumatized with uh, Dizzle. Cut down the whole world? That's the reason why Azura became a Hellion. Correct. <sighs> that voice! This is the spiritual power of water! <laughs> it's time to go! A little bit more, I think. Is it charge of two or three? I think it's three, isn't it? Three, Mr. Cart, so. Hey, what do you use Mr. Cart? I need to be charged three, don't I? I can't. Should've gone for it. I can't kill him without using it right now, I'm gonna be stuck here a while. Nope. Yeah, I'd have to do it anyway. She could've done it, but... He's trying to say something. Give me my sword back, Altol. Altol. He's gone. He was the shepherd long ago. Even if he was purified, his body has already deteriorated. So his rage alone kept him going. The problem is Altol. Do you think that he stole Azura's sword? Let's go back and get the story from him straight.
Alright. If Azura really was the shepherd, then that makes Altol. Yes. He was likely the seraph who formed a pact with Azura. Just like everyone else has with me. Yeah, I'll have to pass this way down. There we go. We've defeated Azura. Much appreciated. Are you who we think you are? It is as you suspect. I am the Seraph who guided Azura to the way of the Shepherd and used him as a vessel. You stole his sword? I did. This is something special. You can tell with one look. This sword is made from a rare metal called Mithril. It truly does have enough power to cleave the world. Is that why you stole it and hid it? Yes. I was probably the one he wanted to slay most of all. But I had no choice. Huh. He was pure to the core. And it was that shining purity that tore him apart with worry. And eventually, cost him his very soul. That's why he made that sword. To cut down anything that would be corrupted by malevolence. But I have no qualms about giving this sword to you. If you can learn to use it, it might aid you even more than the spiritual powers. I'll pass. I already got a sword anyways. Well said. So you passed the trial of the spirit as well. If you don't need it, I'll take it off your hands. We were meant for each other. My blade and I shall cleave the world. Maltran? Saray, look closely! No way! She's... The Hellion! I apologize for ignoring you back then, Seraphim. So you really could see us. What do you intend with the sword? I shall cut down the world, just as Azura wished. But why? I should be asking you. Why don't you understand how Azura felt? Were we to erase this corrupted, chaotic world and all the humans in it, would that not rid us of malevolence once and for all? That is the clean, elegant logic of my master, the Lord of Calamity. You're siding with him? If Alicia knew about this... How sad she'd be. Boo-hoo. You've been using Alicia this whole time! Ironically enough, to start a war, it is most effective to take a starry-eyed pacifist and get them all riled up over something. But now, everything is lined up for an all-out collision between Highland and Rollins. Our sad princess... ...has outlived her usefulness! This can't be... Well... This is a fine pickle, isn't it? For a shepherd, I suppose reality is a far crueler trial than anything we could come up with. <sighs> Miklio, Saray seems off lately. I think he's worried about Alicia. I wish it were as simple as telling him to stop. True. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Damn. I'm worried about Alicia too, Saray, but she'll be fine. I agree. In any case, we have the spiritual power. And Maltran is connected to the Lord of Calamity. If we stay focused on our goal, I'm sure we'll find a solution. Right. I have so the last spiritual no power idea where to go. Right. <coughs> yeah, cute. It's not cute. Your stupid wind stirs up my allergies. Any hints of where this could be, Rose? Ah. So I need to go look for the uh, the Earth Shrine. Where? 
could it be? I'm going to bring the big map again. Let's not do that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, shrine is... Potentially there. Sorry, Wind Shrine. That's where I reckon we gotta go next. So if I like fast travel over there. Yeah, that looks like it should be where the wind could be. Having run there before. So in this part right here, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we will be heading to the wind shrine. Thank you guys for watching. Great day. Peace.